Hey there, and welcome back to The Last Psy. Here we're going to be taking on the most difficult presets, because as I mentioned last time, there is no way to do like a full max difficulty night. You're pretty much stuck like this. So I wanted to check out the presets, I guess, and see how they go. So of course, the first one we have is animatronics, which is pretty much probably going to be one of the easiest presets. We have the classic four animatronics that appear in your office, as well as the snowman and the clock animatronic, which really doesn't do much. So this should be pretty easy. We're probably not going to even do much of this, to be honest. We're just going to go straight through it. I'm curious to see which one of these presets will be the most difficult. All I know is that this one should be rather easy. Because all we have are the one we don't even have to look at the cameras, essentially. That's how easy this is. In fact, all you would have to do is stare at the snowman, remains inactive, and when they appear, you just flash them. Like this. Also, flashing light warning, I should have said that earlier. So of course, literally I would just sit here, watch him. And then deal with the guys as they appear. So of course, now that I think about it, this one might- I might just skip this one, like in terms of recording, because this is probably gonna get really easy, I just realized. Like, look how quick- they, this gives a good idea as to, like, how often they show up, because already Pandy's been here, what, twice? So, they're gonna be here a while. Oh, snowman, I see what you're trying to do. Don't do it. My point is, this is not a night that you, you should really be failing in any way. There's nothing difficult about it. Oh, I didn't realize you did that. Ah, uh, you think you could just turn on my little vinyl, huh? I don't think so. See, now Pandy's back. Where's Barney at? Why are you hogging the spotlight? Give me my dinosaur. There's Barney. You are me. We're all in. And I literally don't remember the rest. Hey there, Grand Grandpa. You're still seriously? He's still. You're seriously still doing it? I just realized I'm singing this. I, I try, I'm like trying to sing that song. I just realized am I gonna copyright for that? Oh no! Hey there, Pandy. I swear, this is the second time the crocodile showed up. <coughs> Literally, I think what Barney showed up twice, the crocodile showed up twice, Pandy and the wasp were up like four or five times. Oh. Now Barney up three times. Yeah, 6 a.m. Easy as pie. Oh, that's interesting. So I didn't know that we would be unlocking certain things from here. Oh, that's good to know. Hold on, why don't we go back? Okay, so we got ourselves a new star. Nice to know. So let's look at our past again, right? So let's see, we have... We have the clown, right? One clown... No, two clowns selling balloons. We have another attraction called Terror, which belongs to the wasp. We have another attraction which has the... What? Two penguins and a snowman. You have Barney in, in its own show. You also have what looks like the crocodile along with two other animatronics and then you have Pandy in the middle with a pink Bonnie and a pink Chica what it looks like interesting okay so next the Mafia this one's an interesting one because you have the clowns actually this is strictly on camera so this shouldn't be too difficult either Point is, this is gonna be an all only a camera only night, so this should also be pretty uneventful. Un uneventful, uneventful. The only one that's gonna be tricky is the dragon, I think, or Karen rather. 
because see in that case now I have to look at 4B it's just gonna be a lot of flashing it's gonna be less eventful in this one I think so we're probably gonna do a lot more skipping There's a, okay, there's a lot going on. Good lord. Am I just gonna be... If I'm gonna be flashing the whole time, I'm just gonna skip the video. There's no way. I'm gonna skip the preset if they're just gonna keep doing that. I will argue this is probably actually the more difficult... More difficult than the first one, the, the animatronics night, because this one really relies on reaction time. You can't let any of them get too... Like, you can't let any of them get ahead, in other words, in terms of phases. Of course, you also have to pretty much make sure you keep on track or stay on top of every camera. Yeah, we're almost at the home run now. It's funny, this night went by so quickly, way quicker than the first one. Probably because it's more fast paced. You're doing a lot more movement than just waiting for them to arrive. There we go, first try yet again. Okay, so we have beaten animatronics and the Mafia, and we haven't really went through much at all. So now we have Quarantine, which deals with the clock, the snowman, the dolls, and Nico. So far, these three, these three nights, we haven't really shown much, have we? <laughs> I ha I'm pretty sure this, I might, I think this one might be the easiest, because you only have one animatronic. Because like you don't have to look at the snowman at all. Actually, I lie. Maybe this might be a bit tricky. Seriously? Alright, I lie. It might be a bit difficult. <laughs> it might be annoying because the thing that's annoying, you have to go around the camera thing. That's what makes this annoying. I don't know what happens if the, if the music stays on too long. Can you just ignore him? <laughs> oh, no. Stop putting the bloody ca- Oh my- These cameras are gonna be annoying. Stop. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of Nico's mechanics just because it gets so annoying having to navigate the ca around the camera, the camera layout. Though I'm pretty sure that was done on purpose. The other tricky thing is that obviously you have to look away to deal with Nico, so this happens. Oh come on! Why are you st stay away? I spelled your name three times already. Within like 20 seconds. Oh, come on. Don't do it. Oh, I somehow saw that one coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, bro. I don't know what happens if you mess up spelling his name. And I don't want to mess up. It's like, come on. Just keep, we're almost there. It's like 515 right now. Surprisingly, the snowman hasn't done anything with the music in a while, so I'm eternally great. Uh, I swear they're listening to me. All right, we're there. We made it. Don't need to even worry about them anymore. Oh, and they were gonna try and make me synchronize the hour. I saw that. Six a.m. Another custom night set preset for the books. That makes animatronics, the mafia, and quarantine on difficult beaten we have three more to go next we have the brothers which is going to be the most annoying because one of them relies on the music oh actually this is gonna be tough because what okay so you need to deal with the doll you need to keep an eye on the dolls turn on music keep an eye on the clown specifically okay i might actually die on this one the first three were pretty much easy, level like one. Now this might be like level ten or something. Cause you gotta keep an eye on the clown. So keep an eye on this one, right? Is it always gonna open this one? Perfect. So literally like this. This is the goal. Obviously the only time I need to move is for that guy. Wait. Bruh. Oh, does he block the music? Come on. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Yeah, I can see how this is gonna get annoying real quick. Did I just cut it on accident? Oh my, I did not mean to do that. 
I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to turn off the bloody... <sighs> also, we're not going to count that at all because that was a bit clownish. I accidentally cl clicked the cut. This is... I don't know why they give you the option. Let's see what happens if we just leave the ghost on there. Alright, yep, yep, it's definitely not good. It's definitely not good to keep that on. The clown isn't making things too difficult for now. Oh, I caught him right on time. Yeah, screw you, Nico. It's the dolls that make this tricky. Oh my lord. What the hell was that sound? The good news is that they can't disappear. If they're if they're like hanging up there, they can't disappear right after. Which is good. Like they can only fall off the hanger. But that's it, they can't, like, escape immediately. I don't, I'm, I'm glad the clown is pretty chill about everything. Oh my lord. Oh, Nico, you came out of nowhere. I was about to say, you haven't shown up in a bit. Uh oh. It's alright, we got 45 seconds. And we're through. Alright, not bad at all. Definitely more challenging because you actually have to look around everywhere instead of just sticking to either the cameras or just looking at the snowman. I think I'm pretty sure that you only unlock this when beating when you beat one of them. Maybe there's something else you unlock for beating all of them. So now let's see here Nietzsche or Niche. The clock, which is normal, the four animatronics, Karen and Doug. That's gonna be interesting. So you only watch two cameras. Okay, that's not bad at all. This one actually might be pretty easy. Because it's easy to deal with the- it, Doug is pretty easy to deal with, I think. In fact, I think I already know- I, already, I think I already know the perfect one. I know- I think I know how to perfectly deal with this. So obviously, you want an angle where you can see the side- the characters show up, but also keep an eye on them, so you do this. Similar to what I did in Night 6, only you don't have to worry so much here. But it's also the fact that you have to deal with the characters here a lot more. See, like that. Uh, the dr Karen gets tricky because she, whenever she moves from the camera, she shows up in this camera. Whenever she moves from her normal camera, she will move from 4A to 4B. And then you have to catch her at 4B. Like that, here we go. And then she'll return to 4A. But other times, she'll just, you know, she'll try to move in 4A, and then she stays in 4A. That's what's tricky about her. Also, the key is to try and, like, switch between cameras as you're dealing with the desk animatronics. So, like, obviously, whenever the screen goes dark, you stick flashing here. Like now. But whenever it lights up, you use that to check on Doug, but for example, I messed up with Doug, so whoop de do. I just have to be more careful because Doug is so close now. Barney! Uh, it's so weird. Like, none of these two are moving. At all. You haven't moved in a bit. 
And that's and, but you can't let yourself get too chill about it. Because these two are some sneaky clowns. Oh no, you don't burn it. Go for the eyes. Did I get Barney? I wasn't sure if I got Barney. I did. It's 4 a.m. I wonder if you're supposed to deal with the animatronics before their music ends. Right? So, like, Barney's playing his theme song. I wonder if at that point you're supposed to... Like, are you supposed to get rid of them before their theme song ends? Also, I didn't notice, I, I, I was about to say, I, I didn't realize Karen got off this camera. They left 4B. Also, the, the wasp barely stayed around, like, the wasp barely stuck around. Oh, no, you don't. The wasp only showed up, like, what, once, I think? Mainly Barney, a little bit of Croc, or Coco Bite, I should say. I kind of remember the name a little bit. Oh, and now the wasp is here. I don't remember your name, which is fine. And there you have it, 6 a.m. Look at we are flying through these. Again, I would have way rather I would have rathered done the proper 1420 mode. That'd probably be really difficult. But these only on, on their own, they're not that tricky. They're not tricky at all. I think the trickiest was probably the brothers. I, I'd say this one's the trickiest. This one is not bad though. So now what do we have here? Here is kind of like... Hmm. So no snowman. So you can watch in the direction of the doll. Oh, but you have to deal with Nico. Actually, no, but we've done that before. But you also have to deal with the two cameras. This might be tricky. I, I said that like a bunch of times already, I know, but this one might actually be tricky. See, like, like, speak of the devil. Who is it? It's, it's Nico. Oh my lord. Alright, so I have to watch out for 3A and 3B. Please tell me you're in the left. You are. All right. 3 a.m. Bloody puzzles. All right. I'm a, I, I, swear, I keep feeling. I think I'm just like over exaggerating their difficulty. I mean, the ones in the cameras aren't moving that much. Oh my god. Like, they, I, I'm glad they're both not moving that much, because these two would be such a pain to deal with if they're moving so constantly. Five o'clock. Oh, see, the clown finally moved. Oh, Nico, what a surprise. Oh, right, and that's gonna be the end of this night because I just cleared it. <laughs> wow. All right, those were easy. Huh. That's pretty much all of them. Let me go to the difficult. Yep, that's all of them. Well, so then there you have it, the last sigh. All right. So my thoughts on the game. First off, uh, I guess we'll mainly talk about the animatronic designs for visuals, mainly because this game takes place in an antique shop, right? Obviously, it makes sense that a lot of the animatronics are pretty much in a withered, decrepit state. Especially, like, as you see them pop up in your office. Mainly, like, I guess, like, Barney is where you really see that, as well as, like, Nico Gavilan. You see, like, the state that these animatronics are in after being stored away for what has probably been a long time, to be honest. Especially some more than others. But I think that's a nice touch in terms of the setting. 
audio wise like the you know you obviously have audio cues to play into the gameplay and then you have like the vinyl player which is a very weird track that just sounds very off which i think you know definitely helps a bit in terms of like establishing the ambience and then you have the natural ambience of the building with the weird hums that happen every now and again which is also a nice touch now onto the gameplay i'd say that the custom lights definitely don't represent the gameplay the greatest because most of the gameplay most of the custom night presets were focusing on like one or more mechanics like you had some that focused mainly on the camera like some one preset focused entirely on the camera another preset focused mainly on the animatronics that were in your office and then you had the gav the brothers right the music and then the puzzle which is pretty much the start of the show then you have the you know some that had well, the armor is thrown in there sometimes. I think, like, the last two presets were probably the more diverse ones. But either way, all of them were pretty easy. A lot easier compared... And it's funny because these are... I played the most difficult presets, or the, mo the all the presets on the highest difficulty. Yet, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that the main gameplay was harder. Just because you got to experience all of them. And also because you're learning the mechanics as you go. But yeah, in terms of difficulty, not really that something that was too big of a challenge. But overall, an enjoyable game. And an interesting story in terms of how everything happened. The grandma got us to work at her antique shop because, you know, oh, my animatronics are being stolen. Only to be revealed, like, you know, halfway through the night, Camilo gets kidnapped. And then at the end to be revealed, it's all revealed that the grandma was behind it all. She got crystal ball disappeared, probably killed, and then she gets rid of you. And it's like, why? W what was that for? One can only imagine. Well, yeah, overall, a very enjoyable experience. Nice work yet again to the Black Cyan and anyone else that worked on this. I should have shown. Did I not show? Wait, the credits they really played at one point. I don't know what. My head scrambled. With all that said, I hope you did enjoy. The game is just from below, as always. And. If you like the video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know you're enjoying the content and you want to see more of it. And with that said, I hope to see you in another video. Take care.